Being a student, making a perfect study schedule that help us to keep ourselves proactive and that will help us to top our examination and that will help us to achieve our goals is always a very difficult one. We would have made tens of hundreds of study schedules previously in our schools and in our college and I'm sure we almost fail every time to follow that study schedule. Even I fail hundreds of times. So later after reading lots of books and lots of articles and from my personal experience, I understood the essence of making a perfect study schedule. So in this video, I'm going to share about the things that you need to know and you need to apply in order to make your study schedule a perfect one. So my name is Arish. I am currently doing my final MBBS in a government medical college from Tamil Nadu. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, it's okay. At least please watch this video till the end. And if you found this video very helpful and valuable, then go again and hit the subscribe button. So let's not waste our time and let's jump straight into the content. Making a steady schedule is like cooking your food. You need lots of effort and lots of calculations and lots of planning. So in order to cook your food, you always need this ultimate thing that's our recipes so similarly if you want to make a perfect study schedule you need to understand these five recipes the first one is understanding your potential okay you can watch lots of study with me videos and lots of study vlogs and you can inspired by them and you can act like studying like them but the ultimate truth is everybody is having different potential you need to understand your potential. You need to know whether you are a visual learner or your audio learner or your physical learner. You need to know the average amount of time it takes for you to understand a particular topic. The amount of effort you need to put in order to remember a particular concept or in order to memorize the particular topic. This is the first and foremost thing you have to understand before making a steady schedule. So the second recipe is analyzing your progress. So if you're going to make a steady schedule for an exam, you have to analyze your progress. Okay, you have to analyze how much amount of topic that you have already covered, the topics that you need to cover here after, the topics that are requires revision, the topics that you feel hard, the topics that you feel weak. Only if you analyze these things, you can make a steady schedule so that it focus on the topics that need to be covered and that need to be revised. So third recipe is time to syllabus ratio. So you need to know how much amount of topic that you need to complete for your exams and how much amount of time you are having in your hands for your exam. The proportion is very high in such a way that you are having only less amount of time to cover lots of syllabus. You have to make a study schedule in such a way that you are allocating most of your time for studying and you are allocating most of the time for studying the topics that are very, very important for exam instead of reading everything. The proportion is very less in such a way that you are having sufficient amount of time to cover the syllabus for your exam. You can be easy on your study schedule planning. Okay, you can you know reduce your study hours and you can give some time for enjoying life too. And the fourth recipe is identifying your peak time. Peak time means a period in your day where you can be able to focus fully on your studies, where you can be cognitively active, where you will get less distracted. So you have to understand your peak time. Everybody has different peak time some may study well in the early morning and some may uh, study well after 10 o'clock in night or some may study in the evenings so it's up to you but you have to know your peak time and the fifth one is understanding your goals so this is another very important one you have to know your goals okay if you are going to plan a study schedule there is always a goal behind that or else we never would have make a study schedule in the first place so you have to clear on that goal you need to plan daily in order to plan your week, in order to plan your month. Everybody have some end goals, right? For example, if you are making a steady schedule for a month, you will be having the end goal for that month. In order to achieve that end goal, you have to plan your week. Planning a week doesn't mean that you have to precisely plan it. You need to plan the set of goals, the set of topics, the set of tasks that you need to complete at the end of the week. So when you clear on your weekly goals, you can plan daily such that your goals are aligned to your weekly goals. So once you complete your weekly goals regularly, you can achieve your monthly goals. So having understanding your potential, analyzing your progress, identifying your peak time and understanding your time to syllabus ratio and having a clear vision on your goals, all the recipes are ready now. So now we are going to jump into the actual act of cooking that is planning there are two ways to actually plan a day one is called time blocking another one is called 
topic blocking time blocking means allocating a specific amount of time to do a specific task for example if you have to complete four topics in a day let's take that you are planning to complete one topic from 8 to 10 o'clock and another topic from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock and the topic from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock such that so you are uh, you know, allocating a per per so you are allocating a particular amount of time for studying a particular topic and no matter what you have to complete that topic within that time period and the second thing called topic blocking is the most lenient way of time blocking in that you will plan in such a way that okay i'm going to complete two topics before lunch and i'm going to complete one topic before six o'clock in the evening and i'm going to complete two uh, two topics before going to sleep so in this way you are not fixing any particular amount of time to complete a particular topic so all you have to do is completing a topic before lunch you can do whenever you want okay you can study continuously for two hours or you can take multiple breaks anything and i always prefer topic blocking than time blocking because time blocking like really needs so much dedication and so much discipline and so much focus which i lack so next one is always eat the big ugly frog first yeah you hear me right always eat the big ugly frog okay this is some interesting concept that i read in a book called eat that frog by brian Tracy. so the concept is that let's take that you have to eat five frogs every day of that five frogs one frog is ugly and one frog is very big and all the other frogs are very small so if you are asked to eat a frog in morning we always try to eat the small frog though the taste is going to sucks at least you can eat it quicker right I, at least you can tolerate the taste so we will do all the possible things to avoid eating that big frog this is the human nature but what the author trying to say is so what the author trying to say is instead of eating those small frogs if you eat that big ugly frog first your day is not going to get any worse if you eat that big ugly frog it's easy to eat the other small frogs so the author tried to use a metaphor here the big ugly frog actually mentioned the topic that we feel difficult the topic which require lots of effort the topic that uh, that is cognitively demanding to complete so whenever you make a steady schedule and whenever you start your day try to complete the topics that you find it difficult try to complete the topics that are harder to study try to complete the topics that are cognitively demanding because once you complete the biggest and toughest task first you can easily do the other easy task you can be able to easily study the other topics and also if you complete the difficult one first it will give you a sense of satisfaction and sense of motivation to complete other tasks so the rule is simple if you are having two frog always eat the big ugly frog first so third important thing is understanding the mind blocks and planning a day for completing your backlogs so we are humans right and surely there will be some days where we don't feel like following our schedule where we don't feel like studying a particular topic we plan to study and even worse surely there will be some day where we feel like not doing anything and it's completely normal okay it is just a sign of getting burned out and this is the time you should be more cautious this is the time that you should take a break and do what you like and what you love in order to revive yourself and the fourth one is giving adequate amount of time for building a habit or following your habit okay habit is what makes us a better person habit is what gives us identity habit is like adding a salt to the dish which will eventually improve the flavor and taste of that dish if you take a steady schedule of most of the students okay they will only focus on the task of study they will provide adequate amount of time for completing a topic and studying a topic and they will never really worry about building or you know following a habit the habits that will improve the efficiency of their studies the habits like you know going for a gym or having regular physical workout or going for running or going for gardening or reading a book or having meditation these are the habits that will help you to prevent you from getting burned out the habits that will keep your mental health in a proper place the habits that will keep you focused towards your goal so whenever you are building a steady schedule 
always provide adequate amount of time for the habits that will make you a better person the habits that will help you to achieve your goals the habit that will help you to study better the fourth one is planning your revision i already said in most of my videos the importance of revision so if you are going to uh, plan a study schedule and if you are going to plan 10 days for studying and learning new concept you need at least three or four days for revising those concepts only if you provide adequate amount of time for revision you will remember the things that you learned you will remember the things that you studied if you try to study without revision it's like cooking a food without gas and fire it's of no use you will never attain the end product and the final one is make best use of your peak time i already said what peak time is so if you are going to learn a new concept if you are going to learn a difficult concept please try to do that in your peak time so that you are having so much chance of grasping and understanding and remembering the concept for a longer period of time so now we almost cooked your food and it's time to add some end flavors the first thing is consistency you need to be consistent no matter what and i've already made a video on how to be consistent in your studies and i will add a code up here so go and watch it the second one is always track your screen time okay never have your screen time more than three or four hours per day if you are having screen time for more than four hours and if those screen time are mostly allocated for your social medias then you are not making best use of your time the third one is always reward yourself okay whenever you complete a task whenever you complete a topic whenever you complete the to-do list of a particular day always reward yourself reward yourself by you know eating your favorite food or eating sorry watching your uh, favorite series or watching your favorite movie anything and the fourth one is always try to break the bigger task into smaller ones for example if you are planning to complete a particular chapter in a day try to break that entire chapter into small small topics and try to complete those topics with intense focus and have regular short breaks for completing each topic and the fifth one is always remember why you started why you started to plan your schedule at the first place always understand your goals only those things will keep you going no matter what so thanks for watching this video guys i hope i gave you some insights on how to make a perfect steady schedule okay these are the things that i learned in my experience and you can take only the valuable insights and you can try to apply it in your own steady schedule to make it a perfect or a better one and if you really 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 love this content as i already said in the start of the video please subscribe to this channel and give me thumbs up so that the youtube algorithm will push this video to lots of other peoples like you and once again thanks for watching this video and i am signing off until next time bye